enter another phone from OnePlus. And this is one of the phones that was popular back then, si OnePlus Ace. This time around, OnePlus Ace 3 na, or better known as the OnePlus 12R sa global. Itong phone na ito is a China ROM variant and it has a lot of good specs inside. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 ang kanyang processor, LTPO AMOLED ang kanyang display, Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 ang kanyang protection, aircraft grade daw ang kanyang aluminum alloy na side frames. Ang meron dito is the Color OS 14 inside Android version 14. And ang kanyang 12256 would come at a price point of 25,000 pesos. More details after this quick intro. Ang hawak nating color right now is the cool blue variant neto OnePlus Ace 3. And I like the blue dito sa phone neto. It looks really cool. And yung kanyang camera module dito is, well, medyo mukhang flagship naman ni OnePlus. Pansin ko lang dito, shiny ang kanyang likod. So, there's a lot of fingerprints once na hinawakan mo ng ganon. And most likely, punas ka ng punas sa kanyang likod. It got a IR blaster dito sa ibabaw. A ringer switch toggle dito sa gilid which is very useful. And a curved screen display with a 90% screen to body ratio. Now, probably the next thing na tatanong mo sa akin is that kung naka-region unlock na ba itong phone na ito? It depends sa inyong seller. Some might sell it without a region unlock and some might unlock it just for you. So, in link na ilalagay ko sa description box below is where I bought it and it is unlocked already. Try natin to mount. We're here to make it easy for you to get the help you need. So, wala naman siya naging problema. I was able to make inbound and outbound calls, pati text. Now, the phone ito comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is quite powerful enough and nabigyan ako ng 1.6 million points. And if you further break it down, ito makikita mo. 3,600 points ang kanyang best loop score dito sa 3D Mark na stress test. And ang kanyang stability is 92.6%. Ito ang score niya dito sa Geekbench. And ito naman ang kanyang GPU score sa Geekbench. Ito naman performance niya dito sa thermal throttling test. You'd see okay naman siya green all the way from 0 to 10 minutes. And nung huling 5 minutes, medyo naging yellow green siya. And it throttled to 82% ng kanyang best performance. Now, ang battery neto is a 5,500 mAh of battery which can support up to 100 watts na super book charge dito. And I would surprise na ang bilis din niya mag-charge from 0 to 100. It takes less than 30 minutes to complete the charging cycle. And using it for a whole day, kaya-kaya naman na magtagal. Walang problema. And based dito sa aking testing, dito sa kanyang screen on time, kasi tinay natin ang kanyang PC Mark na battery stress test, nag-fail siya ng dalawang beses. So, I did it manually and I was able to squeeze out 12 hours of screen on time. Now, one thing that you would appreciate dito sa phone na ito, it has a big screen. 6.78 inch na LTPO AMOLED display. Ang ganda, ganda ng kanyang curved screen dito sa phone na ito. And it also has a maximum brightness of 4,500 nits on top of its 120Hz of screen refresh rate. And definitely, when you're swiping left and right, sobrang smooth dahil sa kanyang mataas na refresh rate. And if you're watching mga favorite grills nyo or shorts dito, scroll lang kayo ng scroll, I'm pretty sure it's really smooth. And another good news is that meron siyang level 1 of Wi-Fi security level, meaning you can watch HD on this one. And if you're watching naman mga videos dito, I would say it's really nice and punchy. I love the color display dito, lanas kayo infinity display. It makes watching videos dito more enjoyable. Now, meron siyang stereo speaker dito sa phone na ito. E medyo malaki ang butas dito sa ilalim. And isang malit na butas dito sa ibabaw. So I'm pretty sure that there is a imbalance dito when it comes to sound. But we're going to test it out. Pakinggan lang natin kung kamusta naman ka ng sounds. So nung pinakinggan ko dito sa ibabaw and dito sa ilalim, I would say that there is really a imbalance medyo mas mahina dito sa ibabaw but malakas dito sa ilalim. And pag kinumbay mo yung sounds dito coming off from the two speakers, it's quite loud. 
So naglaro tayo ng tatlong games dito sa phone nito, playing Call of Duty Mobile, Farlight 84, and Genshin Impact. All of these three games was able to play on this phone smoothly, wala akong naging problema. And of course, expected it's a 8th Gen 2 naman. So medyo mataas ang expectation ko naman dito sa phone nito, and it was able to deliver Call of Duty Mobile and Farlight 84 putting it to the highest graphical settings. Wala akong naging problema dito sa kanya, and it was quite smooth, the gameplay was okay, and halos wala akong na-feel masyado na lag. Now, when it comes to Genshin, Impact, okay rin naman siya. Siguro medyo may minor frame lapse na hindi mo masyadong mapapansin. And ang pinakamainit na na-achieve ko dito sa phone na ito while playing these games, lalo na sa Farlight 84 and sa Genshin Impact, is around 46 to 47 degrees Celsius based sa aking Malsina Thermal Scanner. Now, one of the good things dito sa kanang camera is that it has a Sony IMX890 na main camera sensor which has a 50 megapixel count and meron din siyang OIS as well, 8MP na ultra wide lens and meron din siyang 2MP na macro lens. Then it can shoot up to 4K and 60 and kanang front facing camera is a 16MP na shooter which can only shoot up to 1080 and 30. So, simulan muna natin with some outdoor shot dito and outright pag tinignan mo tong shot na ito, you'd see na ang ganda ng kanang color dito. It's not very saturated, tama lang ang kanyang color and what I like dito sa kanya is magandang details ng mga bato na nakukuha ko dito sa kanya especially when you zoom it in if you look at itong shot na ito you'd see pag zoom in mo yung mga alambre yung mga uh, vines dito and mga ugat dito very nice ang kanyang mga details dito kuhang kuha and even taking in some flower shot like this one you'd see a lot of details din dito sa kanyang petals so if you're playing with kanyang ultra wide lens this is how it looks like then this is the normal lens 2 times zoom and this is the 5 times zoom. You'd see pag zoom mo na 5 times, well, okay pa naman. Not so bad ang ganang photo but pag zoom mo pa ng husto, you'd see medyo grainy na siya. Now, one thing that you should notice dito is ang ganang ultra wide lens, ang ganang normal lens, iba ang color ng sky. This one is a little bit more lighter blue. This one is a little bit more of a navy blue ang ganang sky. Now, if you look at yung ganang 2 times, yung ganang 1 times zoom, almost the same naman ang color ng ganang sky. And if you zoom it in sa 5 times zoom, well, not so far ang ganilang color. Except si ultra wide lens, siya lang naiiba sa color. Now, one thing that you appreciate din dito sa camera niya is that when you're thinking in mga sky shot, you see a lot of details sa kanyang clouds when you're taking photos like this one. Ma-appreciate mo siya, parang bulak lang siya na in the sky. And pag zoom in mo, you'll see a lot of very nice details din sa kanya. And some more other sky shots, you'll see really nice ang kanyang details sa clouds. Now, taking in some sunset shot dito sa Navotas Bay, you'd see this is a ultra-wide shot. This is a normal shot. This is a 2 times zoom. And this is a 5 times zoom. Now, if you're looking in sa 5 times zoom, medyo blurred na pag zoom in mo siya. But nevertheless, yung kind of sunset is looking good. Na kung kumuha ka naman ng mga indoor photography, this is how it looks like. Very clear ang mga details na dito when it comes to mga signage na may color. And further in, taking in some more shots like this one are not so bad. Now, mga shots like this one are really nice and very detailed pag tinignan mo ka ng acorn. Chinese New Year na Chinese New Year dito sa SM North Edsa, you'd see the dragon dito. Ang ganda ng pagkakuha ko dito. Now, kung mahilig ka naman sa food photography, you'd really love itong camera niya dahil this one was able to take in some really nice food shot and you'd see a lot of details dito sa mga sandwiches na nakuha natin. Pati mga sesame seeds dito, pag zoom in mo, kitang-kita mo lahat ng details nila. Pati itong mga floss na ito, you'd really love to eat it kung nakita mo. And taking some shots dito sa mga dim sum lang nakain ko, you'd see pag zoom in mo, kitang-kita mo yung mga small details na gusto mo makita on a food shot. Now, tinry ko rin naman mag night photography dito using this phone and I was in Impressed that it was able to perform. You see, uh, this is around mga 7 in the evening, and this was a nice shot. And makita mo yung sky, medyo in-enhance ng konti ng color to make it look a little bit better. Now, taking a look naman sa kanyang selfie camera, I would say the front-facing camera is able to perform on outdoor condition. And taking some photos like this one ain't so bad. And tinayad naman natin din sa indoor photography, I'd say not so bad ang mga details na nakakapture ko dito sa kanyang front-facing camera. Now, ito naman itsura ang kanyang camera when you're using it outdoors. A little bit shaky, not super duper stable, but not so bad ang kanyang quality. Medyo nag-glare lang siya dahil sa kanyang sunlight. And this is how it looks like naman when you're using it indoor dalaga mapafeel mo medyo shaky dalaga siya no? not to the point na sobra nakakahilo but well could have been stabilized kung gumamit ka ng gimbal for this phone and using ka ng rear camera taking a 4K shot this is how it looks like and it's quite stable panning left and right parang may gimbal ka lang hawak oh. kita niya ang kanyang movement 
Now, guys, ano masasabi ko dito sa OnePlus A3? Value for money nga ba itong phone na ito? I would say, yes, kasi 8th Gen 2 na siya and it's quite powerful. Ang kanang camera is really performing as expected dito sa phone na ito. And this one, I would say, ah, it's still a better buy as opposed sa Oppo Reno 11 5G. So, this one giving you the better shot, indoor and outdoor, better low-light photography, and even better processor. So, if you're comparing it side by side, pareh naman siya ng 25,000 pesos. This one has a 8 Gen 2 and si Reno 11 only has a Dimensity 7050. So, definitely, this one is the better buy over sa Oppo Reno 11 5G which I can highly recommend to phone na ito. So, be it a gamer ka or a camera enthusiast, this one would definitely nail it para sa iyo. So, if you're interested to know kung saan niyo pwede mabili to phone na ito na naka-region unlock, link on the description and if you like this video, don't forget to share it to your friends and a subscription to this channel would definitely be awesome. And I'll see you on my next video. And so, ako para sa Richmond and you're watching Gadget Sight. Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.